Today I'm going to be doing a quick demo of the HubSpot mobile app for you. It is available on iOS and Android devices. In this case, I've uh, downloaded it to my iOS device, my iPhone. You'll see the HubSpot app right there. All you do is tap on it to open it. And you come to a home screen that has a collection of tasks and your calendar and different things that are going on for the day that you can look at really quickly. It also has access directly to your dashboard, so you can see all your performing um, and see all the dashboards that you've created in your HubSpot account. Uh, so that's really easy. Um, but you might be on the road, you might want to go out and you might have met a new person, you want to create a contact in your HubSpot account. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that create button and hit contact. And you have a couple choices. I could just uh, tap tap the keyboard there and enter information or for an easier way to get contacts in and you have a business card, I can hit the scan business card button there. And it'll open up a, a, basically a scanning functionality. And I'm going to grab that. Yeah, move the lines back because I didn't take a very good picture. Um, but now I've got it. And it's going to, you're going to see it's going to read that card and it's going to full, fill in information uh, from the card. So I've got my full name, my job title, my email address, my phone number, and uh, the website uh, for the company that I work at, all perfectly directly from that, uh, from that business card, which makes it really easy to get content into the system. Um, so that's awesome. It makes it really efficient when you're out in the field. Uh, if you want to take a note, um, against a record. I'm going to take a note against a company record here. So I'm under benchmark construction, which is a company in my HubSpot database. I'm going to hit add note. And you see it associates with benchmark construction, but it also associates with a bunch of deals. I'm going to take the association off of all those deals and just put this note on the company record. Uh, but you could attach it to a contact a company, a deal you're working on, or several of those things, so you get that relationship to that note. In this case, I want to make it easy to take this note, so I'm going to dictate directly into the phone, one of the great things you can do with a mobile device. And you see that uh, microphone in the bottom right-hand corner. If I just tap that and start speaking into the phone, it will take a note, and I'm going to do that right now. Had a great meeting with the customer period, going to follow up with a quote, period. I'm going to save that. So now I've saved a note. You see it right there uh, directly against that record. Um, so uh, really easy to get content in um, when you're on the road and just trying to quickly capture how a meeting went. So that's great. I'll go to a contact record. So let's say um, I wanted to go in and email uh, a contact that I've just met with or somebody I want to follow up with. I can actually email directly from here, and there's a lot of great tools from the email. Uh, so when I create email here, one of the first things you'll see is um, this email is going to get attached to Stu Smith and the benchmark construction record at the bottom there. So when I send this email, it'll actually log this email uh, directly in the system. Um, but I want to use HubSpot's great AI capabilities to create an email. Uh, so I'm going to tap on that little star looking thing in the bottom right hand corner. And it's going to ask for what type of email I'm sending. And this is a follow up email from a meeting. And it's going to say, what are you selling? Um, and I'm going to tell it um, uh, we're selling, um, let's, let's say, uh, CRM software, because that's what we do. CRM software, and I'm going to send it to Stu Smith, and uh, thank you for meeting. How did you like the demo? A tone of email. I'm going to make it uh, witty, um, all different options there. And text length, I want it to be a medium length email. So once I put all those prompts in, I hit generate. 
uh, the AI tools, the content assistant is gonna jump in and do some work here. And it's gonna create uh, a witty email. You see the subject line uh, with pretty good content in there. I see this as uh, basically a great starting place. You can also edit this content. I'm gonna insert it directly in the email. It inserts it in the email and I can send directly from here. So great tools with AI uh, to create content in the mobile app. I'm gonna discard that email. And then finally, um, inside of a company record, let's say I'm going to visit the customer and I wanna, uh, wanna jump directly to a map so I can get location um, from this. I can actually just go into their company record, tap on, uh, the address and pick which map I want to use. I'm going to use Google Maps. It's going to open directly to that location and I can get directions directly from there. Uh, so lots of great functionality. There's plenty more, but I wanted to highlight a couple really great functionalities that I really like about the mobile app. And uh, hopefully you guys like it too.